Hey guys, this is Maliha, and in this video, I want to show you how to change all of your fonts on all of your pages at the same time on Canva. So, I have here a template, and I have some fonts here. As you can see, these are text boxes, and I have used certain fonts. And I want to show you how you can change all of that at the same time without having to go page by page and element by element. And it's pretty simple with, um, you know, some some things that you have to kind of keep in mind, keep in mind when you are changing your font. So first of all, you need a Canva Pro account to do that because the only way you can do uh, the, you know, change all is if you have a brand setup, branding kit setup. So for example, if I go back to Canva homepage, as you can see, this is a Canva Pro account and I have under tools on the left I have brand kit so in order to be able to change all the fonts in all of your pages at the same time with just a click you need to set up your brand kit first so with Canva Pro you can have multiple brand kits so that makes it easy to go between different styles for example I have two brand kits here one of them is the main kit that's TSB short for the site blogger and then I have a temporary kit that I often changed based on what I'm working on. And if I want to add more kits to it, if, I, if I'm working on multiple projects at the same time, I can do so by clicking add a brand kit and then name your brand kit and then create. And once you do that, for example, let's say that I want to create another brand kit. Let's call it temp create and you can set up your brand colors and brand fonts right over here. So once you do that, let's say that I want my header font to be um, something like this one. I'm just randomly choosing because I don't really have any need for it. Let's say that my subheader style is um, this one. And let's say that my body style is something like uh, Montserrat, maybe? Like so. And you can even change the font size. So let's say that I want my body font size to be 11 instead of 12 or 10. Let's say 10. And like that, you can set up your brand kit. So once you have the brand kit set up, you can go back to your design. All right, let's reload it. All right, so I have this design here and let's say that I wanna change all of that to a different font. So I, as you can see, if I zoom in, I have different types. So I have a certain uh, font for the body, another font that I'm using for kind of like a subheader, you know, because in Canva you can't really choose header, subheader, it's just, you know, font type. Um, and Canva is intuitive enough to know which one is which, sort of. Anyway, so let's say that this is my header style, this is my subheader style, and this is my body style. So if I have these three different styles in this document and I want to change all of them, this is how you do it. And again, you have to have Canva Pro to be able to do that. Otherwise, you're going to have to, if you're on a free plan, you're going to have to go by um, each page and change them all manually. So anyway, let's click the body font or the body uh, font text box on this page. And then I'm going to go up here where you change your font as per usual. Click it. And the first things you see are the fonts that you have currently um, on your design. And the next section right over here, if you follow my mouse, this one is, um, it shows some recently used fonts. And then right below that, you have the brand kit font. So right now I have the TSB chosen. And let's say that I want to change all of that to a different um brand kit. So let's choose the one that we just created and it's called the temp kit. So I'm going to click temp and right away as you can see it's loaded all the um, brand fonts that I just set up uh, using the temp brand kit. So let's say that the, I want this body 
font to be Montserrat, so I'm going to click it. And when I do, over here, it, it changes it right away, uh, over here. But when I do, um, let's go back because I want to show you something else. Okay, so I'm going to click it, come back here, and then change it. And right away, it shows over here at the bottom, change all. So basically, it's asking me, do, you, do I want to change all of the Source Sans Pro that I had in this document, that I have in this document, to the new font Montserrat? So if you want to change all of this, all you have to do is click change all. And that basically changes everywhere I had used the Source Sans Pro previously. And similarly, let's say that I want to change this font over here. I'm using Cardo right now, but let's say that I want to change it to the subheader that I set up just now for the new temp brand kit. When I click it, again, it asks me if I want to change all of that. I'm going to click change all and right away it changes everything. So here's a little caveat that I have because it changes all of the, you know, um, Source Sans Pro to Montserrat and all of the, um, a, a, a Libre, I don't know how you pronounce that, to um, basically change all the Cardo to this new a pay Libre, or however you say it, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. But um, anyway, so the thing that I am worried about is that um, sometimes when I do that, it changes the font and the font size and everything, and they kind of messes up depending on what you're using, what font you're using. It's not always the same. It's not always the case, but sometimes it messes up. For example, before, um, this text box fit perfectly, but now it's like overflowing beyond the margin. So these are some things that you might have to go back and manually fix when you change all fonts at the same time. And I hope I made that clear. Um, and the other thing is that um, sometimes there's like this um, little, I don't know, um, there are some glitches. Um, I don't see any glitch right now, but it has happened to me before. So just, just be careful. Even when you change everything, go back and kind of make sure that things really do look how you want them to look like. All right. So go by page by page and just kind of glance over them and make sure that all the text boxes are fitting perfectly and that, um, you know, nothing is overflowing or there's no, not like a lot of blank space now or, you know, just little details. But yeah, um, as far as, you know, changing all the, fa all the fonts uh, at the same time, with just one click, that's pretty easy. All you have to have is Canva Pro account to be able to do that so that you can set up brand kit fonts. And when you do that, the rest is simple. Just go to the font panel and then choose your brand kit, change the font. And then when it asks you to change all, click change all and that's it. So hopefully that was useful and I will see you in a different video another time. Bye.